All right, I uh, just wanted to give you an update on a little power supply I'm building. Uh, as I told you before, uh, I've got a little homebrew uh, supply here I built many years ago. It is, uh, it, I use it for everything. Uh, variable voltage, uh, I can I can actually read the voltage on this analog scale here. There's, there's 10 volts right there, you might see it. I can just crank it up to, you know, 10 volts or whatever. Uh, I can flip it down. I can also read current from zero to one amp on my meter here. Put me a little external digital meter on here at one point. But I use that for everything. But, you know, I mentioned to you that you can buy anything on eBay. And I found these little uh, buck boost converters. This little buck boost converter will take any input voltage, you know, like 8 volts, 10 volts, 20 volts. And this particular one here, will allow you to adjust it from 0.5 volts up to 30 volts. So even if you're putting 15 volts in, you'll get 30 volts out. So I'm thinking, okay, well, I thought about, you know, converting a, um, a computer power supply, but I really don't have a case to put it in. And when I'm looking at um, the room, I don't really have room to mount this because uh, there's just not enough room in there. So anyway, uh, hey, I've got a bunch of these. Uh, in the past, I've always bought cheap soldering stations off the internet. I don't know why I do it. I guess I'm uh, crazy. Every one of them goes out in about three months. They're, uh, they're cheapies, you know, variable, variable uh, temperature, digital readout, the iron hooks here. But uh, it's a nice little box. It's a very nice little box. And uh, has a transformer in it. The uh, soldering irons are AC. And this, and uh, so I, I decided to build my variable power supply in one of these boxes. So here you can see one opened up. All it basically had a train um, in it was the on off switch right here and a transformer. So that was AC only. I have added, I've added a, um, a full weight bridge. Here's a full weight bridge I've added, and I've added a, a filter capacitor here uh, to make it DC. Now this power supply uh, puts out 10 volts, and um, let's see, uh, 10 volts and tw uh, 24 volts, I think, yeah, 24 volts and 10 volts. So um, I'm just going to use the yellow wires, the 10 volt the 10 volt uh, wires uh, with my full way bridge gives me, you know, more than 10, 11 or 12 volts. Uh, but this is going to be a neat little package here. Uh, I took the front cover off. I cut me a hole in it. And um, the meter is going to mount, the meter will mount right in the front of it. And uh, I'm going to put uh, some banana uh, plugs uh, down here at the bottom, you know, to connect to and uh here's the cover so you know hey it's gonna be a, a pretty neat little box uh, all self-contained uh, power switch on it uh power cord and everything uh that part's well built but uh they don't last very long like i say i, I burnt three of these out and uh i finally went with a commercial uh soldering station which has cost a lot more money but it's worth it so anyway i've got several of these uh boxes this is going to be uh, my choice for the uh, power supply. All right, so we've uh, we've got the little panel mounted in the front plate. Got the banana jacks on it, and uh, you can see it's uh, it's pretty simple. We'll connect this uh, buck boost to our uh, power supply over there, and uh, we should have a power supply that's uh, doing a good job for us. It'd be good for small projects, and uh, you know, it, it probably is good for maybe an amp, amp and a half. Uh, the buck boost is supposed to be able to handle up to 10 amps, but uh, of course our power supply here is not going to do 10 amps, but uh, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be a pretty neat little power supply, I think, once we finish it. All right, so uh, we've got the front panel on. It's pretty neat. Everything's fitting uh, very well. Uh, we just tuck our little uh, bridge rectifier down here in the opening. I've got it insulated. We've got our, our, our capacitor here. And uh, we've just uh, 
Oh, I might need to look at this. That looks a little close right there. That looks a little close. That could uh, could short out right there. Well, that toroid, that toroid is actually hitting. The toroid here is actually touching that transformer. I'll probably put a piece of cardboard or something in here to insulate those two so it won't, the uh, edge that transformer won't rub into the insulation of the uh, toroid there. Let's, um, hmm, I better do that right now. Okay, so I put me some uh, electrical tape right here, right there on the edge of the transformer where this toroid is kind of touching it there to insulate it. Don't think it's going to be any problem. There's not going to be a lot, a lot of movement there or or anything, and it's well insulated. Let's power this thing on and see what it does. So uh, let's see if I can do this. I'll kind of aim it up here a little bit so you can see it. So, you can see uh, we're set at 1.9 volts. We're pulling no current right now. So, you can see how accurate the uh, volt adjustment is. There's uh, 1.99. There's 2.0, 2.01, 2 2.02. So, you can just, you know, you can crank this thing all the way up to, uh, it'll go up to 30 volts now. So, this is a, the, the buck boost, meaning our, basically our 12 volt input to it will, will actually go from, from 0.5 to 30 volts. So it's a neat little power supply. I got some banana plugs on the front here. So, you know, if I'm working on projects here, like, like one of the little super, like the, uh, uh, Pico tracker that we use for the balloons and we need three volts, uh, I can come right off here, adjust this for three volts. Uh, in fact, I can actually turn the voltage down to see how low the tracker would actually operate and see where the uh, tracker stops, you know, transmitting. So it's a cool power supply. It's going to read both, uh, it's going to read both the, the voltage here and the current here. And it also has other readings, uh, uh, watts and so forth, but we're not going to use those. We're not going to select those. So let me get the cover on it and let's see how this thing looks. So I was having a little trouble getting the cover to go all the way down. It appears that my uh, my capacitor here is a little bit too tall for the cover to go all the way down. So uh, I found a place here we can we can lay it in here kind of uh, at an angle like this. We can just kind of lay it down in there, which hey, it fits pretty nicely there anyway. Uh, and we will then uh, uh, put the cover on, and it's going to. It's going to go down really, really well. It's going to look good, and um, it's going to be a nice little, uh, nice little uh, bench power supply right there. So you can see it's uh, uh, looks very professional. Um, variable supply, uh, 0.5 to 30 volts for the bench, and we'll just put that up there on the bench, and uh, we'll have another power supply that we can use. So it's finished, and uh, that's how it looks. I think it's uh, I think it looks pretty professional. So uh, you know, we just hey, I save everything. These old power supplies for the soldering irons. Like I said, I have three of them that are junk. Uh, they make perfect boxes for building uh, projects in. This is going to make a nice little variable uh, bench supply. All self-contained, the power with the power cords mounted and everything. They're really, uh, really neat. And let's see, let's just play with it here. So we can play with it, and so we can uh, get a voltage here. Let's see. All right. Let's see if I can set a meter up where we can. We can do a little playing with it here. We'll go into the banana plugs here. All right. Well, the, uh, the meter itself here is reading 3.37. 3.37, and the fluke is reading 
6.8. So, you know, uh, pretty accurate, pretty accurate, uh, very accurate. So let's just crank this up a little here. And we'll see where we can go to. Let's put it on like 5 volts and see what we got here. We're going to go up to 5 volts. All right, there's a uh, really 5 volts on the little uh, internal uh, supply here. And over on the fluke, we're ready 5.01. So I'd say that's pretty accurate there. Let's just crank it on up real quick. Let's see if we can go up to like, you know, 12 volts or whatever. Now there's a way, I haven't figured out yet, there's a way to press the button and you can select digits here where you can tune it faster. Uh, but uh, I haven't quite got that under control yet. Let's just go up to 10 volts and see what the accuracy is at 10 volts. So we're, uh, we're getting there. All right. Very uh, accurate and very small steps. There's 10 volts. And over on the fluke, we're reading 10.01. Uh, so I'd say it's very, uh, very accurate. And it's going to be a nice, uh, nice bench supply. Again, very self-contained. It looks very good. And uh, we'll put it, we'll put it at place up here on the shelf uh, next to the other supply, and uh, we'll uh, we'll try it out and see how uh, how it performs for us, and we'll let you know.